Hello viewers, welcome to the Animal class. Today we want to solve this question given to us here. And the first step for us to do is to let the root of x to be equals to y. And there is a condition here that the value for our y must be greater or equals to 0. That shows that y must be positive. So if root x can be equals to y, then x will be equals to y squared. So having done this, then we're going to plug in the value of root x and x into the given equation. So with that, x is going to be y to the power of 2 multiplied by root x, which is the same thing as y, equals to x, which is y to the power of 2, plus root x, which is the same thing as y. So here I'm having y to the power of 3, collecting like terms, minus y squared minus y equals to 0. So factoring out y, which is common to all. So here I'm going to have y into bracket y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0. So here I'm having um, something like a quadratic equation in the parentheses. So with this, I can say that I'm having two cases here. So here, my case number 1 is that my y is equals to 0. And if y equals to 0, automatically, then my x will also be equals to 0. That is case number 1. For the case number 2, that is, we want to talk about the quadratic equation. Here we have y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0. So we need to solve this using quadratic approach. So here, I'm going to adopt the method of quadratic formula. And my quadratic formula is y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So here, plugging in the coefficient, so my y is going to be minus negative 1 plus or minus root b squared which is 1 minus 4ac which is 4 times 1 times c which is negative 1 all over 2a which is 2 multiplied by 1. So here my y can be equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So here my y can be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or y can be equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. So the, for the first case, we need to get the corresponding value of x. Don't forget that y is the same thing as x squared, right? So doing that, this shows that x is equals to y squared. My x is going to be 1 plus root 5 over 2 squared. So it's like multiplying it twice. So doing this, multiplying this out, we're going to have um, 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5 over 2. So my x is going to be 6 plus 2 root 5 over 2. So finally, x equals to 3 plus root 5. So this is what I have. And for the second case of my y, here, it's very obvious that the value of y is less than 0 because square root of 5 is more than 1. So we're going to have negative. So in this case, we're going to ignore this. So the two values for x is going to be this and also 0. Thank you very much for watching my videos. See you next time. Thank you.